Incoming transmission. Picture this. A recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion on the 12th of March. Yes, indeed, another Monday has rolled round. I'm not sure where that's come from. But I'm looking at Jurassic Park on the Nintendo Entertainment System, or the NES, as we otherwise fondly know it. I've not played this before. Look at him. Look at him winking at us with both eyes. Peepo! Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's meant to be terrifying. But I suppose it's quite nice. Yeah, he's come to see the dentist. Ooh, blood dripping from his fangs. Okay, let's get stuck in. That's quite colourful. Alright, so we get like a uh, mission briefing screen before the levels begin. That's quite cool. I never played any of these Jurassic Park games, by the way. Um, had an Amiga, didn't play it on the Amiga. Must get round to playing it on the Amiga. Yes, and reviewing it for all you lovely people. Oh, cool. Okay, so it's top down. And it uh, looks like we can collect ammunition. Those look like eggs. Oh, we've got little, I think, our best... Little, little, little things are supposed to be compies, I guess. And then we've got a raptors chasing us around as well. Oh. Quite like this. This is quite nice. Overhead view. Smooth. And music's quite cool. Sound effects are very meaty. I always kind of like meaty sound effects. Especially with the gun going off. Now, it looks like we've got to collect a certain amount of eggs or... Maybe we can destroy them, I don't know. Uh, but let's collect them for the sake of this review. Let's see if I can get through this door here. No. Oh, I can jump. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what purpose the jump would actually uh, serve in this game, as it's uh, with its current uh, view. But you can jump, which is a bit strange. Yes, we got. Okay, so we've got eight eggs left to find. That's quite nice. They've included spitters from the Jurassic Park movie. That's quite nice. See, the attention to detail is quite cool. Lots of little dinosaurs running around. Cute. So it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like you've got to collect the eggs at least. So it's seven left now. Oh, he was running up the stairs. Those look like bonuses. Bonus things you can get. Maybe they're like surprise things. I, I don't know. Let's try going through that door again. Nope, still can't get through there. All right, so let's collect the eggs and see where we get on. I quite like the presentation here. It's, it's quite big. It's quite open world. It's quite big. I mean, when I say open world, I mean, for its time, it would have been immense. Uh, quite like the fact that there's a lot of dinos from the Jurassic Park uh, movie. Not sure how closely it's following the plot, however. Oh, we've got two eggs left to find now. Uh, the music's awesome. It's um, very cool. like that a lot. Uh, licensed by, uh, obviously, Ocean again. Had, I think they had their fingers in quite a few movie pies back then. Um, obviously, Robocop being another one. Um, they did Batman as well. They had the license for that as well. Um, it's quite nice, this layout. So on the left-hand side, you can see there we've got an energy level. Our lives are underneath that. Ammunition below that. And how many eggs we've got left to collect underneath that. Um, I've, I've got knows what happens when we collect all of the eggs. I'm about to find out. So I guess... Let's have a look. Yes... Right, so, I think we've got a key card now, or something, so we, I shall go and check those doors again in a minute. But it's colourful enough, it's it's very, I guess the only thing I would probably say, it's very repetitive, there's not really much variety. Um, I'm guessing in later levels you'll encounter some of the big nasties like the T-Rex, for example. We've already seen raptors in this level, so hopefully we'll see a few more dinos on our travels. I can't get in through this door, so we'll continue our way around and see what else we can find. Oh, we've got two explosive rounds left. Which I, I call them explosive because they seem to explode on contact, which is always nice. Oh, we can get through there now. Oh, and that kills us. Lovely. So, ones with question marks on are obviously whatever uh, you take a risk by picking those up. I guess you can find ones that benefit you. I mean, I, I think it'd be a bit strange if it was just detrimental ones. That'd be a bit strange, wouldn't it? Um, but, yeah. Okay, so you've got mystery bonuses or ones that are just gonna kill you so that kills anything in its path by the look of it it doesn't look like it's a I think it would probably carry on past whatever you're trying to kill I've got sort of some a computer here that's quite nice like that so we have a look so we've got to open the gates 
Okay, so we can't open it at this point in time. I guess we need to uh, find the right key card to be able to access that. Uh, like Mr. DNA making appearance there. You get online help as well, which is quite cool. Uh, blah, 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 only the correct terminal. Okay, so yeah, so you've got to collect all the eggs, blah, blah, blah. So I suppose once we've got all the eggs, we'll be able to progress, open the gates, and go and rescue Tim, who's apparently in a... Uh, a, th a Triceratops stampede. Don't remember that in the uh, movie. Gallimimus, I remember, but not uh, not a Triceratops. In fact, they had a sick Triceratops in the movie, and that was all they had. Okay, these are uh, so you've got these little gate control things all over the place. That's quite nice. I'm guessing you can only um, access them with certain key cards, though. So I quite like that aspect of the game. Keeps you uh, keeps you uh, busy. Anyway. Let's see if we can get through here now. Ah, so we've picked up the key card here now, so we can go through here. Progression is the key in this game, by the look of it. And, uh, try, ah, so these, okay, so the ammunition you get, you pick up from the dinosaurs now. And, uh, oh, it's uh, in, there you go, I'm invincible now. Excellent. Um, but yes, it's a bit of a gamble picking up those question mark ones. The uh, ammunition is dropped by the dinos, as you can see there, and a couple of shots. One will freeze, and then you keep shooting them, and they'll eventually they'll blow up, which is a strange animation for a, a dinosaur. I'm not sure why they're exploding, but oh well. Got to find another seven eggs, or destroy another seven eggs, and then we'll be able to progress through. Is that going to kill me? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, it nearly did. It uh, took all my energy down. That one gave it me back. How strange. There's no sort of consistency with this at all, is there? Um, I don't know how much this would keep you busy. I think it would probably be good for a good run. I mean, I like the graphics on it, and the music and sounds quite cool. Um, but I just don't know how sort of what the sort of longevity would be with this game. Did you have Jurassic Park on the NES? Did you play any of the Jurassic Park games on any console, any computer? What were your thoughts? Did you manage to complete it? Oh, and um, by the way, just so you know, uh, you probably saw a graphic flash up. Um, I haven't actually edited the uh, thing together yet, but uh, when uh, if there's cheat modes available, I'm going to try and remember to put them in the video for you. So uh, there is a cheat to Jurassic Park. If you would like me to put that in the description, I think it might be a, a good idea actually to do that. Um, I'll put it in the video, but I'll also link it in the description as well, so you can uh, enjoy and cheat your asses off, which I'm not actually going to do with this one. Uh, but have a look at those anyway. If you fancy a bit of a cheat mode, I will provide them, and then you can have a play with them yourself. Um, I tend to try not to use cheats in reviews unless they are so stupidly hard that you're not going to get a true representation of the game, or at least not get much footage of it, because otherwise it'll be like five minutes of me dying. Saying that, that tends to happen anyway, but never mind. Massive fan of Jurassic Park, the movie, by the way. Went to see that seven times at the cinema, which at the time was a lot. Um, so I thought the games would be quite good. I think Dino Crisis probably comes closest to any of the sort of Jurassic Park feel uh, for a game. Uh, Dino Crisis 2 was, was amazing. Uh, that's PlayStation, in case you didn't uh, didn't know. Not sure where these raptors are coming from. You keep killing them and they keep coming back. So Jurassic Park on the NES, it's very cool. and. I'm getting followed, I've got a friend. Um, I just don't know how... Like, it's very sort of samey. I, I think that's probably going to go against it, points-wise. Um, music's repetitive as well, but it's quite good. I'm not going to take anything away from the from the music score. It's, it's rather nice. Just a shame they didn't use the official Jurassic Park theme tune anywhere in this game, which would, again, would have been a bit more authentic. But never mind. Anyway, this has been the Retro Revival Show for the 12th of March. I've been Rich. This has been Jurassic Park on the NES. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll catch you on the next video. Take care of each other. Stay retro. And bye for now.